what's going on guys welcome back to the farm my name's rossi i'm your wonderful host for today's episode episode eight um today on the agenda for our show notes we got we're gonna sell some bales we're gonna plant some wheat in september so next month um we're gonna talk about possibly getting a new combine today um we are probably gonna harvest our wheat i think it comes around in july to be harvested um, and then we may end up purchasing some new land. Uh, I was looking at the map. So right now we uh, own this plot right here, plot 26. Um, I'm looking at either purchasing plot 25. So plot 25, which is 85K, or plot 27, which is again 85K. So it'd be nice to expand either left or right on our homestead. Uh, so we can get some more fields going and bring in that money uh for right now i got about i think it's total of three stacks of bells um one of them right here is on the trailer and then i get we got two more down at the farm to sell uh we did a live stream when was it like two two nights ago um so if you missed that make sure you hit those notifications on so that way you will be notified when I go live because we're going to start doing some, I guess, uh, like in between the episode live streams while we do little chores around the shop. Uh, we're going to, you know, where, where, where I'll be able to get y'all's live input on equipment y'all want me to purchase. Um, what kind of things y'all want to see done on the farm as well. So let's go ahead and sell these bells right now. We're starting at $53,873. So after those are sell, we made a total of like 3100 So we're sending it. 56,985. Let's make our way back down to the farm. Uh, if y'all haven't seen already, um, I posted in the community post. Uh, we got our merch store up and going. So if you haven't already, go check that out. We got some pretty cool stuff on there. I know I'm going to be getting me a uh, one of those snapbacks off there. I think they're pretty sweet looking. Um, I've also thought about, you know, getting some merch made with, uh, with our wonderful lawnmower, our tractor we got here, as well as maybe even the, uh, the combine, the old lobster. So y'all let me know if y'all interested in that as well. And let's see, is that all I got to say for the beginning of the episode? I think it is. I think. All right, well, I will see y'all when we get back down to the farm so that way we're not making a hour-long video of nothing but uh, us driving back and forth. All right, guys, we made it back down to the farm. I wanted to show y'all this. So we, during our live stream, we had a, a viewer come in, old Donald. Um, he recommended that we go ahead and purchase a tether. So what? that is exactly what we did. Uh, see, let me go down yonder and show y'all the tether we picked up. So we picked up this guy right here. It is, I think it was like the, the hit something. I can't remember the actual uh, model number. But um, we got this backfield mode. Got it all tethered up. And so now we're going to sell our first, I think they're considered hay, right? Uh, let me go down here and see what, 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 what it considers them. I think it's hay. All right. Yeah, hey, okay. So we're gonna sell our first hay bales. So we should be able to get a little bit more money off of them than what we're used to with our normal uh, grass bales. So let's go ahead and get these guys loaded up and try not to run them over. All right, there's those. All right, so let's head on back down to the shop and I will see y'all once we arrive. All right, welcome back to the co-op let's go ahead and get our uh hay bales unloaded so before we sell these i want to show y'all something right in here come on game save all right so if you look down here so we got grass right grass is sitting at 122 dollars a bale and if i'm not mistaken that's that's where i guess you know right on it's up and up right so we're sitting max at 147 uh for the price of grass bales so the price of hay bales right now we are somewhat near the bottom right you know when it started it starts going back up 
and we are currently sitting at 158 so that's like a 30 dollar difference per bale so um we should be able to get a quite a nice little chunk of change off these we're starting at fifty six thousand nine hundred eighty five dollars and that jumped us up fifty four hundred for a full load of hay bales all right let's head on back down to the farm um and grab that last load up uh the goal i think you know i know we went over to show notes but i'd like to be able to purchase that piece of land and probably a new grain trailer um ours is ours worked perfectly fine when we only had that one field but now that we have two i know we're gonna fill it up and have to make multiple trips back down to the co-op in order to empty that trailer so i think for time management's sake a new grain trailer is definitely going to be uh be key so i will see y'all in just a few all right made it back up to the co-op to sell our last load of hay bales let's go ahead and get these sold we're sending sixty-two thousand, and let's see what we get for these guys so that got us an extra thirty five hundred dollars bringing our grand total to sixty six thousand and fourteen doll hairs all right let's get back down to the shop and i think we're gonna start um go ahead and start planting no i'm sorry rephrase that let's go down to the shop we're gonna hop in the truck and we're gonna go survey that what is it uh plot 27 and 25 so we can try to figure out which one we want to try to buy once our wheat is done and then we're gonna sleep until september and uh go ahead and plant our wheat next month because that's when uh that's when the planting season starts for wheat so i will see y'all once we get back down to the shop all right guys and guys welcome back to the homestead let's go down here uh on our way back i noticed how dirty our poor bear uh bell trailer is so we're gonna spray it off with the pressure washer and then we're gonna go hop in the truck and uh and go do some surveying i think some little surveying clean you off you've been working hard you deserve a bath and working hard I mean I get these like stains off Does that not come off I guess not either way she's cleaner than she was cleaner than she was let me back this up let me squeeze it through here oh yeah oh yeah like a glove like a glove all right bring this old trailer back over here I've, i'd almost want to get a uh, a barn here in the future to be able to store our trailers in we have a lot of stuff sitting outside a lot of stuff sitting outside all right so let's go ahead and open the map here not that big there we go that worked all right let's go check out Dude, let's go look at well, what the heck was that let's go look at uh 27 first so we are in 27 now i mean we can put a gigantic field right here um clear out those trees right there right next to the to the pond put a big old field i really want to start you know i guess getting a uh pretty pretty large field going on Let's see what about over here and we could even do it over here we could get a nice field going a nice one I guess we can look at 16 2 since we back up to it um i'm not a big fan of this because it's got that big rock wall there Let's see if we can jump this Woo! <laughs> oh we need to buy the dirt bike we need to buy the dirt bike <laughs> all right let's go check on 25 now all right 25 is super flat i think 25 is going to be the way to go because then we can even expand our field right there over a little bit if we want to ow yeah it's got this little hill on it but that ain't that ain't nothing and we got some trees we can harvest and uh cut down i guess rather yeah i think i think we're gonna go with 25. all right so let's go 
take us take a little nappy nap and i will see y'all in um in september i reckon when we go and uh plant our wheat as you can tell i got some new mods uh you know i wanted some mods to be able to speed up processes a little bit to walk around i'm um, not really you know cheating as far as uh you know mods to help us farm faster but you know move around the farm a little, a little bit a little bit quick quicker with some purpose moving with purpose all right i'll see you on september all right welcome to september good morning it is currently 8 a.m let's close this door i've had uh way too many deer try to break into our house so we need to see i don't these weeds are growing right so do we need to like cultivate it or maybe we'll just plow it or not plow it um run it with our cedar so i think our cedar will uh we'll get rid of those weeds then we can spray it spray some herbicide on her uh, just, oops, we need to drop our trailer, drop the trailer, and go grab our cedar. And I think we're all in agreement that wheat is going to be the best. Um, man, you know, I think canola, canola, yes, you do get, I guess the thing is, you know, more money per liter. But I think you get more yield out of the wheat and you get the swath. To be able to uh to be able to build that up as well so i think the wheat is going to be the way to go that should be wheat right pretty sure that's wheat uh wheat yes that's wheat okay cool all right so let's go over here and we're gonna start let's start our let's do our new field first sorry chickens i didn't mean to do that Let's go ahead and well, we got plenty of seeds in here. Plenty. Plenty. Straighten her up and back her up. Alright, that should be good. Lower her on down. And let's get the planting. This will be the first uh first plant in this field. First time we've seeded in this field. <clears throat> we need to get a uh, a rock picker so that we can get rid of all these uh, get rid of all these stones in our fields. I'm sure that's uh, not not helping our yield any. I wouldn't imagine it to be. Oh, I think a but there's nowhere to dump them off yet, so probably need to be able to get a rock picker as well as a lime production plant so that way we can have somewhere to dump the rocks in uh does it y'all y'all probably know this better than me right so does does the game tell y'all when in when you need to uh add lime because it has not told me yet that i needed to add lime it just told me i needed to you know fertilize it or herbicide it so y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know uh, if the game tells me whether I need to do that or not. I think we're going to have to run sideways here for a second. I don't know if we have enough room to turn around right there. Just go down and start on this end, I guess. So kind of a you know, big episode today. Like I said, I think uh, last episode was a big turning point for us. As far as being able to, you know, consistently make money um, with the help of our chickens as well as the help of our greenhouse that we put up. Um, you know, it's just nice to have a, you know, passive income coming in. Really nice to have passive income. All right, well, I'm going to fire up a time lapse and I will see y'all once we get done, uh, done, done seeding these fields.
all right we got our both of our seeds completely uh both of our seeds both of our fields completely seeded so let's go grab our sprayer i think we're gonna do the herbicide first and then we'll uh we'll fertilize both fields as well um and then i think i think with that we're gonna take a little bit of a nap um with the with you know with come on now can i get it straight in there you know what we'll just leave you there you can be there so with the purchase of our new land we'll kind of be able to have two crops going so that way i don't have to you know basically almost sleep the episode away in a sense um, we'll be able to have two different things going at work at, at once then our goal is going to be to purchase another tractor so that way we can have more than one thing going as well uh, be a little bit easier to multitask with another tractor swing it on around all right and back her on up go ahead and cut it on if i'm not mistaken this is uh this is herbicide we're spraying right now should be I really appreciate everyone uh, watching over on TikTok as well as watching YouTube. Uh, if y'all haven't already, make sure you come over to YouTube from TikTok and smash that subscribe button. Even if you like the, uh, even if you like the, you know, the short form content, um, YouTube. Okay, we need to move the truck. The truck is in the way. All right, YouTube is a lot better for creators as far as you know show, showing their support. So. Uh, coming over here and just smashing that like button even if you enjoy the content over on tiktok makes me you know helps me know that that y'all aren't enjoying it okay i'm having a hard time with words today words are hard today sure everyone has those kind of days right <clears throat> my mind's going about a thousand different places well, let's go ahead and fire up another time lapse and let's uh Let's get these fields sprayed. What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fire Let them burn, let them burn it out Sell them to the richest buyer They want to let the world decay They tell us lies All right, we are all done fertilizing and herbiciding our fields. So let's go lay down and sleep a few months and we'll wake up and check on our critters and or our chickens rather, as well as our tomatoes. Let's see, let's go drop this over here. Back out of the way. We only use it like once a season. I'll tell you what, those sprayers are still one of the best investments I got. I think they're only like $1,300 and they spray 10 meters. Go park the tractor right next to the house. We're going to make sure our chickens and everything have plenty of food. Shut the old John Deere down. Chickens are sitting good. Let's go ahead and give them a little bit. Whoa, 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 what the heck? 
All right, did that just did that stop it? Um, where'd our where'd our bag of feed go? Where'd our bag of feed go? What the heck is going on with the game? Did we yeeted? Yeeted our bag of chicken feed somewhere? Uh, no idea. Well, show me on the map where I yeeted it to. Um, no. Uh, yeah. What is that over there? What is this, chat? Grapes? See your grape vineyard? Okay, um, no idea where that bag of feed went to. So, I think they'll be okay until, let's see, let's try to sleep until November. I think they'll be just fine until November. We got plenty of water in there. Is that still producing? Yes, okay. All right, so let's go to sleep and then we'll head up to the shop and grab some more, uh, some more wheat since we threw that bag God knows where. Good night. All right, welcome to December. Merry Christmas. Let's go ahead and get our tomatoes and move them out of the way. Please don't throw them like off into Never Never Land. Because we need our maters. <gasps> no. Lord have mercy. Okay, that didn't go that far. I don't know why it's doing that. Look, I'm going to need you to chill out, okay? Chill out. We need these. We need these to be very gentle. Very gentle-like. All right, so there's those. We got like almost a full pallet of eggs over here. Come on, chickens. We need you to start popping those eggs out for me, please. All right, let's go hop on the tractor and we're going to mow our field in the back and get some more uh, more hay bales out of it. Um, I, You know what? You know what I want to do? We're going to do this. We're, we're, uh, we're about to go upgrade our mower. Because I am ready for an upgrade, and I think we're going to be able to have plenty of money to do that and purchase some land. So we're going to move this out of the way. For some reason, I shut the tractor off. Right, let's move that out of the way. Put it right here next to the windrow. I'm going to go sell this guy. I know we make more money if we actually take it up there. So we're going to drive up there and see what they got for us to buy. Um, there's a John Deere one. I've kind of had my eye on for a little bit. It's uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's $15,000, but it's a lot wider than this one. We should definitely speed up our, uh, our mowing quite a bit, actually. <clears throat> if y'all have any uh, ideas what we need to do on the farm, uh, after we purchase this land Let me know. I think our next goal is gonna be either upgrade the combine uh, like I've been talking about for the last few episodes and or uh, Buying a house and upgrading our house So y'all let me know where which direction y'all want to take uh, in the in upgrading the homestead So I will see y'all in just a few once we get up there All right, we made it back up to the co-op slash shop go in here and drop off our mower I think it can be like right here all right let's go over here and sell it repair repair sell no 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 not the tractor all right so we're gonna get what how much we can get out of it how much are we gonna sell it for 1100 okay that ain't terrible I don't think we paid that much for it Turn the tractor off. Go talk to this lovely lady over here. So, yeah, that's a nice tractor. Ain't got nowhere near the money for it, though. Where sugar beef needs to be cut. Okay. So, that's for sugar beef. Uh, let's drop down and look at our mowers. So, kind of want to stay around the 15K mark. 
Um, I think our best bet. Let's see. Let's see. This one's twenty five. So that is eight point three meters. This one's six point two. What was our old one? Three point four. Yeah, this is gonna double it. So let's go. Let's go ahead and pick up this mower and go back down and test it out on that backfield. Should definitely speed it up. It's double the size, right? Double. And it's gonna match our tractor. Yo, look at the size of it. It's as big as our tractor. Bigger. John Deere looking all purdy with that old John Deere green. Yo, this thing's gigantic compared to John Deere. It's huge. It looks like folded out. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so nice. So nice. All right, let's get down there and mow the field. So I'll see y'all once we get back to the that that back field over yonder. All right, let's go ahead and lower this bad boy down. This bad memo jamma. I feel like this is gonna speed up our process so much. Lower. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cutting it good. And the speed is picked up too. That's so nice. We're actually getting some decent speed out of it. Up to what, 14 miles an hour? Put some cruise control on and just ride. And just ride. We're gonna do what we did last time. Just cut all this and uh, embell it up into some nice old hay bales make some money if i'm not mistaken uh this month is actually the month that's good to sell um to sell hay bales let's see where was it at where is it at where is it at okay. i'll check again because i don't feel like running off in the never never land Yo, this mower was a good investment. Good investment. Making light work of this uh this back pasture. Light work. And for some reason our John Deere seems to be handling it better than it did the other one. I mean it's got a faster working speed. By quite a bit. I think the other one was only like six miles an hour or nine miles an hour. We're up to 14. The 14 miles an hour here. All right, let's see if we can check that real quick. Uh, where was those hay bales at? Hey, fluctuate December. So yeah, we're just about at the very tippity top top. So we're gonna get uh get those bells made and sold, and that should bring us back and well pay for uh. Pay for this this mower that we purchased. I would hope. Hopefully it'll it'll pay for itself the first time we use it. <clears throat> I know it's definitely been something I you know I've talked about a few times uh, over the course of this uh, this series is upgrading to this mower in particular. This is the mower I wanted to get from the get go. We just could couldn't afford it. Didn't make a didn't make a lick of sense financially but now we have her and she's putting in work putting in work 
all right well let's uh i guess let's fire up a time lapse now that we're just about finished mowing this field with our new mower and i will get back with y'all once we get all the uh, bells built up or all this grass built up rather Let's go we'll pick up some more of these bells that we have down here that we dumped off from our first load and then we're going to head up to the shop and sell them and then come back and grab the rest of these and sell them as well. Let's go ahead and 
take off our baler. So let's see. There's that. Say bye bye to the baler for now. And then hook on up to our trailer. Go grab uh go we'll grab these bells, top it off to 105. Uh, I think we got somewhere around 150 bells. I think that's what I uh what I guesstimated. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. We're just gonna run them all over, I reckon. All right, and up to the shop we go. Uh, I'll see y'all when we get up there. We're starting out at 100, or oh, I'm sorry, at 51,870. All right, we're back up at the shop, starting out like I said at fifty-one thousand eight hundred and seventy. Let's get uh, let's get these sold. And voila, that brought us to fifty-eight thousand one hundred and six. Head on back down and grab the other ones. And I think we're gonna pick up a grain trailer while we're up here because we're gonna need one anyways. When once we uh, once we go to harvest our wheat. So I will see y'all when we make it back up to the co-op. All right, we made it back up to the co-op to sell our last load of bales. And then, uh, I don't know if we want to buy a grain trailer just yet because I'd really like to get some more land. I uh, may just have to suck it up for this episode and, um, you know, m make a few trips with our, uh, with our other grain trailer we have. So we're sitting right at 60,840. 60, so let's head back down to the homestead and we're going to go back to sleep for a few more months. You know what we need while we're up here? While I'm thinking about it, we need to grab some. Uh, we'll head down and grab the truck and head back up. We need to grab some uh, wheat for our chickens. Since we decided to, to throw our other bag into uh, Never Never Land earlier. All right, let's go ahead and hop in our old pickup truck and head back down to the co-op and grab uh, grab some feed for our chickies. So we, we can sleep in peace knowing they have full bellies. You know, that is one bad thing about uh, about this property that I chose. It is so far away from co-op. It makes traveling, uh, traveling up there a pain in the butt. because it's like a you know two three minute drive in the tractor every time we need to go up there for something all right we're are back on the homestead with our uh our wheat for our chickens let's go ahead and drop it off and get them fed um what what you can quit now why are you doing that we lost like all of our wheat there that's, that's a pain in the butt oh it was feeding them okay i'm okay with that okay okay i'm okay with that i thought we were i thought it was just dumping out on the ground but it was actually feeding them cool all right move the truck over here <clears throat> make sure they are full and they are we have plenty of water in our greenhouse as well so I will see y'all in, I guess in, what is it, June or July? I think it's going to be July. Right, let's see, wheat, July. Yep, I'll see y'all in July. All right, welcome to July. Obviously, we got way too many eggs over here, so we need to move some of these over. Move that here. 
Is this here? Are we storing any or no? Or does this even store it for us? Alright, and our tomatoes. Man, we're gonna have to go sell some of this stuff. We're gonna run out of room of uh being able to store it. No! Did I throw it? I think I th no I didn't. Okay, cool. Because we only had four over here. Alright. So let's go ahead and grab our truck. And our other little uh, flatbed trailer, or I guess technically it'd be our logging trailer. And let's go uh, grab and sell all... I did throw a thing of tomatoes. Let's grab our tomatoes and eggs and go sell all of that. And then we're going to come back and fire up our old red lobster over there and start harvesting our wheat. It is that time of the year. Ready to harvest. Look, I'm gonna have to do some of these trees. I can't see around them. I'm running into everything. Everything. Man, we should make some decent money off all this stuff. We got tons of stuff to be able to sell. As long as we don't, uh, you know, throw, it, throw everything halfway across the map. Whoa. All right, can we get on here, please? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate you cooperating. All the cooperation uh, is phenomenal. Thank you. See if we can get this thing to back up straight up to it. I think it's about time to invest in another trailer as well. Um, like more of a flatbed trailer instead of this logging trailer. Although it is working just fine. I just like to spend money. I just like to spend money. Okay. Can I not drive? Pick up the controller. Obviously, mouse and keyboard driving is not uh not is not not working for me today. For whatever reason, it's so much easier to drive with a uh, controller than it is M and K. There we go. Don't throw this all over the place. Trying to be neat here. Can I please be neat? You're not gonna let me be neat. You go there. Re retry this. Okay. We got a lot to try to fit on here. Then we got three or four over there. Stacked up. What? <laughs> to the combine. I'm gonna have to take this mod off. It ain't uh not working out too well for me. and everything all right pop back in the truck drop everything down Did that work why well, don't fight there we go all right let's head on down to the co-op sell all of our tomatoes and our eggs because we have a wrap ton of tomatoes and two pallets of eggs this should bring us uh a pretty good penny a penny for our time <clears throat> so like I said, I'm still hoping we're gonna be able to upgrade a uh, a grain trailer, but I think we're probably gonna do that after we harvest our wheat and everything. Just to, 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 I guess we'll we'll see how much this brings us, but I really want to be able to buy uh buy that piece of property this uh this episode. Land is money, and land costs money. 
but the more land we get the more crops we'll be able to handle oh no well we sold 114 of it before we rolled the truck we're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh pay the tow man some money and just pray to god you know what we'll just, we'll just do this let's we'll just do this eh eh sell do you sell upside down i guess not all right come here truck get, get yourself right get yourself right trailer your turn your turn your turn trailer no oh I did throw it but <laughs> I stopped it in time I stopped it in time all right <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take our $500 away otherwise I'm gonna forget negative 500 for the tow bill getting us righted I have a horrible habit of uh, rolling this truck. All right, unstrap everything and we should start to sell, right? Yeah, it's selling. Cool. So let's watch our money go up. I think we started at like 58,000. Sell, sell, sell. Give me that money. Oh, yeah. Up to 70K. Heck yeah, a profit of $13,747. So let's head back down to the farm and fire up the old lobster and get the combine in, or get the harvest in rather. All right, got the old lobster fired up and ready to roll. Get this first field uh, over here first, the one closest to us. Let's get her going. All right, uh, y'all have seen me harvest a few fields now, so let's uh, go ahead and fire up a time lapse, and I will see y'all at the end. Enjoy the music. guys so based off of that i mean we did like maybe two passes two passes down here then back um we we need a bigger grain trailer so we're gonna go ahead and fire up the john deere and head up to the co-op actually let's go ahead and look real quick um let's see what kind of trailer we want to get we need we need a trailer it's a it's a necessity right now um but we want one See, that's gonna hold was that 12.6 meters what's the one we got now uh let's see here i think it's one of these so three um yo eight meter for five grand can we do what can we do to it just a standard design standard two that doesn't change anything on it. Um, tilt trailer. Hell, the tilt trailer holds. What's that? Six thousand liters. Um, I think we go ahead and go for. Where was it? Go ahead and go for this guy. Yes, it gets expensive. Um, we can take the extension off of it and bring it down to 17000 But I think this is going to be a good trailer for us. Um, let's see. What else can we do to it? Anything? Wheel setup. Yeah, we don't, we don't really need to spend any more money. Let's go ahead and buy this trailer. All right, so that's purchased. Let's grab our baby trailer we have over here. 
and because we're gonna take it up there and we're gonna sell this trailer and bring back the other one i was thinking about keeping this one but since we got one that's so much larger we really don't need to keep it it does it doesn't doesn't really make sense to uh to have both if we were gonna buy another one that's around the same size it would have but you know i unfortunately i don't know if we're gonna make it up to the uh, 85k we needed to be able to purchase that land now since we bought that trailer but either way it's definitely gonna be worth it <clears throat> being able to haul that much more wheat or canola or whatever we, we it is we decide to uh to haul with it now hopefully because i didn't get the extension our combine is going to be tall enough in order to get its uh dump spout into that trailer i didn't really i'm kind of thinking about that after the fact hopefully it's not going to be an issue it is we're gonna have to figure something out put the combine on a hill or something i'll see y'all when we get back down to the farm with this new trailer all right we made it back to the farm with our new grain trailer looking all pretty hopefully now here is the moment of truth right is our combine gonna be able to reach it the moment of truth oh it's gonna be close no no oh please please tell me no please tell me yes okay okay what the heck i thought it just it just wanted to work a second ago right no it's not gonna work what if we okay so it gets taller if we connect if we disconnect it all right we're gonna have to figure something out here because now this is the only trailer we got we're gonna have to figure something out here um um let's see let's see what do we do chat what do we do chat uh what do we do 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 yo okay okay and somehow it's filling it up i'm not gonna ask questions but it's working it's working is it correct no does it look like it's just pouring it outside yes but it is working nevertheless nevertheless did we find a new glitch did we find a new glitch because it's definitely pouring it right through the hole right through the side of the hole uh okay cool well i'm you know i'm i will live with that i can live with that like i said it's not necessarily correct but it is working but it is working all right so let's continue to harvest this uh this grain i guess i'm not i don't really know what to think about that you know it works i'm happy i don't know what, why it works like that but it's working So uh, we definitely know we need a bigger combine now because our grain trailer is too big for our combine. So maybe that's what we go for first instead of the property, unfortunately. Um, I really, 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 really want more property, but I think it, I think the combine needs to go and we need to, we need to be able to get a big boy combine, get a big boy combine instead of uh the, the, this little guy the little lobster is gonna have to go so let's go ahead and get this uh get this field done for the most part um and then we'll go up there and trade this combine in sell our wheat that we have in the trailer and maybe we'll be able to get one of those uh one of the combines that <clears throat> that we were looking at in one of the previous episodes i'll have to pull them up again to remember but i will tell you one thing this combine is slower than molasses 
slower than molasses. And it fills up super quick. I mean, we're, we literally went down half a row and came back up and we're already almost at 50%. But definitely an A-class starter combine. Without this combine, we would be nothing. We would still be cutting down trees. This combine has helped us a ton. It has helped us a ton. But I mean, it's basically every two rows we're, we're having to empty this thing. It's almost what what is that? Every two rows. Shut her down, whip her around. Don't hit the rock. Don't scratch the paint, we're about to sell you. Oh, we missed some. We done missed it. We're still gonna fly over time lapse here in a few, but I think we're gonna do it once we get, uh, once we go up there and check out the combines. I, I really don't know how much grain we're gonna need in order to uh you know what maybe we'll let's go ahead and time lapse this field and uh and then and then we'll head up to the co-op in the shop so i'll see you on a few All right, here's the plan. We're gonna head up here with our trailer about 50% full, head up to the shop, try to sell that, see how much money we get out of it. If we get enough, then we're gonna sell our red combine and possibly purchase a new combine. Well, definitely purchase a new combine, not possibly. So let's head on up to the co-op and I will meet y'all there. All right, we're back up at the co-op. Let's go ahead and sell our grain. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Nice little screenshot moment. All right, so that only get us five thousand, yo. Okay, so we're gonna buy this combine and take a look at it. Uh, where do I need to go? We're gonna buy this combine and take a look at it. I think it it definitely looks bigger, but I don't know if the bucket is taller. I don't know. Because it kind of looks like it sits low, right? But there's nowhere from no way for me to really know. Copper. Okay, so we want that. That's gonna allow us to do this whole swath thing. Um let's not put that on there. Uh, Will Brand. Okay, so we're not going to do that. All right, let's buy this thing and see if it's going to sit as high as I think it does. If it doesn't, then we're going to sell it back and get our money back. We're just going to return it. Ooh, I don't, I don't know, man. Oh, 
Oh, that thing sounds great. All right. Really? Move forward. All right, let's go see if it's gonna fit in there. Dude, this thing is gigantic. Oh yeah, that's gonna work out great. It's gonna work good. Okay, cool. So we'll put that back in. All right, so let's shut her down. Now we gotta buy the, gonna have to buy the attachment for it. Where is it at? Back up, combination. Okay, so 8,000 there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Combine, combine, combine. Uh, where's our other one? Harvesters. You're going to go bye-bye for a total of 6,000. Adios. We got the new one. I think kind of like an oil can. Yo, we need a name. We need a name for her now. Yo, this thing is sweet. Definitely still old. But it is large and in charge. Large and in charge. And it sounds really good. Oh yes. Let's bring her on back down to the homestead. And try her on out. We're gonna have to zoom out. And we got some big things going on this uh this episode we got a big old grain trailer a big old combine oh yeah look at her all party ready to do some work all right i will see y'all back down at the field all right welcome back to the homestead so i think this is what we're gonna do right so i think we're gonna start this combine on this field right here and then we're gonna go up there and grab our tractor with our trailer because I wanna be able to run the combine on that last field or on the remainder of this field, both. And because I'm, I'm a big kid, I wanna drive it. So let's go ahead and get this going. And there's our swap. So go ahead and hire a worker. Go hop in our track or our, yeah, John Deere. We need to fill fill her up with some fuel. We're gonna head back down to the farm and take over for that worker. Because he's not having all the fun. I wanna have some fun driving that combine. Alright, fill her up. She was low, low on fuel. Nobody y'all, but man, it sucks that uh gas prices are starting to go back up. I was really enjoying that 270 a gallon. My F-150 drinks fuel. Old 01 F-150. She's a, she's a fuel hog. <clears throat> I think it's gonna be super nice having this new combine. What are you blocked by, dog? Oh, a pallet of tomatoes. Okay. Okay. I'll fix them when I get back down there. Um. I guess we can do it now. We can fix it. I can't believe you're really blocked by a pallet of tomatoes. There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So, and it, it looked like that new combine goes a mile per hour faster. So, an old one only went four miles per hour. It looks like this one goes five five miles an hour and we have made some big progress today granted it's been very hectic and we've bounced around a lot but we've made some good progress some good good progress my turn my turn ah all right, let's drive the old combine and see how she does. Looks like it's got a, what, more than, a little more than double the old capacity as well. 
Michael Bassey was 1500 on the other combine. Anyway, this thing is big. She is large. Means business. Hope we're gonna have enough room to turn around everywhere. This thing is sweet looking. Still old school, probably from like the 80s. But it's a lot. I mean, we're in a cabin. The other one didn't even have a cabin. There ain't nothing in here. But some metal levers and a few gauges. Oh, a fat finger to button. All right, let's go ahead and fire up this time lapse and get these fields done. Something's wrong. I feel it circling like vultures around my brain. Couldn't see the danger. Till I realized you hadn't shown your face But you sing a pretty song But you drag my heart along A siren serenade You're ringing out to pray Your love's a wreck and you know it's wrong We get both of our wheat fields completely harvested. We're gonna park our trailer over here, probably under the cover. And I think that's probably gonna be it for this episode. Beginning of next episode, we'll go ahead and collect our bells. Actually, you know what? We'll probably do that on a uh, on a I guess uh, on a live you know work around the homestead stream. Try to. Uh, give us something to do for that so we'll go ahead and finish bailing those up over there and collect all the bells and then we'll be able to mow our back pasture as well i really appreciate everyone hanging out for today's video i hope y'all enjoyed the content we were able to get a brand new combine as well as a new grain trailer and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. Drop a comment down in the comment section. And I hope you all have a blessed and safe rest of your day and week. And I will see you all next time.